Hi you guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to delete your search history in Gmail. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on the iPhone as well as your desktop, so have these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So we'll start off on the iPhone version. With this iPhone method on Gmail, one thing you should note is that there is no option to select certain things to delete. You have to delete it all at once. So. If you're okay with deleting all of your search history at once, then this will be the method for you. However, if you'd like to go through and um, choose specific ones, then you'll want to wait or skip ahead to the desktop version, which we'll be going over next. So the first thing you're going to want to do is launch your Gmail and sign in if you're not already. Once your email is open, you're going to go up to the three lines in the top left corner and select those. And then you're going to scroll down through this list until you find settings at the bottom. And then in settings, you'll scroll down until you find the general settings. And we're going to go to data privacy. And here you'll find the clear search history option. So like I said before, this is the only way that you can clear your search history. You can't be um, going in and selecting specific searches. If this is something that you're fine with, you'll click that and then you're just going to approve it and click clear. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks again and let's get back to the video. Okay, so now we've jumped over to the desktop and I am logged into my Gmail. So through this method, you actually have the option to go in and individually delete specific searches that you've made. So to do this, you're just going to go up to that search mail bar here and click on it. Anything you've searched in the last however long is going to pop up here. Um, and if you hold your cursor over it, you'll see a little X appear on the right hand side. And if you want to delete that, um, remove it from your history, you'll simply click that X and it's gone. So you can do that with all of your searches or specific searches. Now, this can be a bit of a pain, especially if you do want to delete in batches. Um, going through and just individually deleting may take a while, especially if you do have a lot of searches in your search history. So if you want to delete in batches like you can do on the phone, you are going to go to My Google Activity. This is going to be a separate page and you're going to sign in. You can search your activity here. Um, you can also filter by date and by product. So you'll choose, you know, if you have certain dates you want um, to look for and delete from. And then you can select uh, different products. So you can go through Chrome, um, Discover Books, Ads. I mean, anything that you have um, an account on and search history in, you can just go through um, and then apply this filter. So once I have that filter applied or those filters applied, all of the history is going to pop, um, is going to appear beneath this. Um, and just as before, we have the little X on the right hand side. If we want to delete individually, we could just click the X. It's going to ask me to confirm the delete and I can. Otherwise, if I had quite a bit of search history to delete, I can do this. I can do this in a batch. So for example, in my YouTube history, I have quite a bit from yesterday. So instead of going in and individually selecting these X's, I can go to the top in this yesterday box here and I can delete everything from that day. January 28th, I can do that. 27th and just continue deleting and going through until all of that history has been deleted. And all of this can be applied to your Gmail. So if you did have a lot of um, search history in there, you could delete it that same way that I just showed you. As a bonus tip today, I'm going to show you guys how to create your digital signature in your Gmail. So to do this, once you have your Gmail launched, you're going to go back up to the left hand side, those three lines and click that. You go back into your settings and scroll down to compose and reply where you'll find the signature settings. You click that and you're going to turn your mobile signature on. Um, this is where you'll type your signature and click done when you're finished. When you compose an email, um, your signature that you created is going to automatically be placed at the bottom of your email. And if you wanted to turn that off, you'll go back into your settings and you'll simply go back into the signature settings and just turn that off. 
And lastly, I'm going to show you guys how to edit your signature on your Gmail on the desktop this time. So on the desktop, the settings option is going to be on the right hand side near your icon. So you'll click settings and we can go to see all settings. And then we're going to go into general and scroll down until we find the signature option it should be near the bottom signature and you can create a new signature here and this is the exact same thing it's going to be what pops up at the bottom of your email when you compose one and then below this you can edit your signature default so for new email use you can turn that on um, and have your signature there and then on reply and forward use you can have it on and you can select this insert signature before quoted text in replies and remove the blank line that precedes it. Here you are. Alrighty, that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.